Hi everyone, welcome to Teach Nepal. I am Vidur Nepane. In this video, I am going to deal with Unit 2 of Grade 12 English, that's called Family. Here, I am going to deal with reading comprehension, its exercises, writing, and grammar part also. So, please watch the video till the end. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe it and press the notification bell for all the many videos like this. Now, let me get started. At its most basic, a family consists of an adult and his or her offspring. Most commonly, it consists of two married adults, usually a man and a woman. It means in a family, at least there will be uh, the couple and their offspring means children. Most commonly, it consists of two married adults, usually a man and a woman, almost always from different lineages. It means they are from different families and not from the blood relation or they are not related by, by blood along with their offspring usually living in a private or separate dwelling if they live if the couple or uh, if uh, a man and a woman they live with their offsprings or children separately in a private uh, house or in a private dwell dwelling this type of family is called nuclear family this is what you call nuclear family it is believed to be the oldest uh, of the various types of families in existence this type of family is called the oldest family in existence. Sometimes the family includes not only the parents and their unmarried children living at home, but also that have married their spouse, that have married children, that have married their house spouses and their offspring and possibly elderly dependents as well. Such arrangement is called an extended family. So here in this paragraph the writer talks about the types of family, nuclear family and extended family. In extended family there you could see uh, the different generations like might be uh, grandparents, parents, the children, uncle, aunt, right? These, This is what you call the extended family. Second paragraph we go there. At its best the family performs various valuable functions for its member. For, there are many functions, valuable functions of the family for its members. Right, but we are going to roll on, sir. So that's your like the very much to put up on them the family. Perhaps most important of all, it provides for emotional and psychological security, you know, emotional attachment. That's why psychologically also they feel that they are with their family because they can help them in every ups and downs of their life, particularly through the warmth, right, love, and companions, companionship, and that affection love and friendship right that living together generates between spouses and in turn between them and their children i have no saying husband wife peace go to halka affection love companionship or children sanga company to halka relationship uh, the bond between the member it becomes so strong the family also provides a valuable social and political function society society may exist to like society may say uh, rep, uh, reputation ko atwa, Fame Kulagi also the family uh, helps there and politically also uh, by institutionalizing procreation and by providing guidelines for the regulation of sexual conduct. Procreation in here means the reproduction and by providing guidelines for the regulation of sexual conduct means the behaviors or the manners uh, for the for male and female right in that way. The family additionally provides such other socially beneficial functions uh, as the rearing, uh, rearing and socialization of children. Uh, children are like saying, uh, we have to bring up them, right? We have a family ko role on our bacharu ko lalan palan garni, socialization mahel garni, right? Along with such humanitarian activities as caring for its members. You say, you um, humanitarian activity on a dancer that is what you call caring for its members when they are sick or disabled right uh, every members they have to play their roles uh, to the best right on the economic side the family provides food shelter clothing and physical security for its members right when uh, they are dependent just dependent on her might be uh, children and the oldest uh, people are oldest members the economically dependent member are like saying food seller clothing physical security provide government family members responsibility on answers some of whom may be too young or too old to provide for the basic necessities of life themselves 
Finally, on the social side, the family may serve to promote order and stability within a society as a whole. Society ma peace or thwa ekalko order law and order maintain karna ko lagi or stability ko lagi pani family helps there. Now here in the next paragraph, the writer talks about the history of family. Historically, in most cultures, the family was patriarchal. Uh, patriarchal we call or male dominated society perhaps the most striking example of the male dominated family is the description of the family given in the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament Maniko, male dominated society like patriarchal society once right as the data in female they don't have any uh, decision making capacity uh, the patriarchal society are those they are male dominated society and in the males, male heads of the clans, they were allowed to have several wives as well as concubines. Concubines means the uh, might be girlfriend or additional woman kept by male in house, right? As a general rule, women had a rather low status in the patriarchal society. In Roman times, the family was still patriarchal, but Polygamy uh, was not practiced, but in Roman polygamy was not practiced, means there was a monogamy. Uh, that was different in Hebrew Bible as this described there. In general, the status of women was somehow somewhat improved over that suggested in the Hebrew Bible, although they still were not allowed to manage their own affairs. The Roman family was ex an extended one. The family as it existed in medieval Europe was male dominated and extended family. Medieval Europe the family it was male dominated society. In the West in the industrialization now here, it's taught this in this paragraph, the writer talks about the changes brought in the concept of marriage or the family relationship and the role of the couples in the family. Okay? In the West, industrialization and the companion advantages and Span and continue to span. Industrialization, urbanization, many changes in the family structure by causing a sharp change in life and occupational styles. Means this way, that's a family structure. Matter, very important. You might be the females, those who are not being uh, employed, they might have got employment opportunities, right? Because of that, they were empowered economically also. Um, this process led to the, the, the dissolution of many. Extended families. This like that thing. Um, very much or less. Um, rural areas. Sorry, that they went to the urban areas. Unmarried youths left, uh, left arms and other went to urban areas, right, to become industrial workers. This like that thing. Family or thing. Dissolution by or extended. Uh, family thing. Nuclear family change in the area. Right. So, when I go over, so like thing. So, or can be by much or less. So, in Nepal, no one. Now, what is so or some. Manjari uh, right scattered by the uh, this family dissolution also uh, is spilled on the answer, right? The modern family has family that emerged after the industrial revolution is different from the ordinary model. Then by like ancient model the family ko, industrial revolution position the family models change by so for instance patriarchal. Uh, rule began to give way to greater equality between sexes. When you go, then the male dominated society, society, to society, the change by the um, male, female, do you equal power or equal decision? Say family, ma impose on your style. Similarly, family rules won't consider exclusively male or female broke down. When you go, by the donor, you go male, kid, female, but here only at what you know, what half no power shall need to do. Our equal right caring for the woman and children once the exclusive duty of the female is often shared activity by lazim pacha or pony pacha a palnik that comes in god right here going to come women going to female going to say shared activity but both women and men they started doing this right so this is how the family structure was changed the structure of the family is also changing in some couples choose they choose not to marry legally and instead to elect to have the children out of wedlock. Many of these informal relationships tend to be uh, sought, be of short duration, and this as well the rise in the level of divorce. Right? When I go, behave right? They don't marry legally, but 
they they just elect to have their children out of wedlock when they go um, without getting married also they want to adopt their children or they want to have some children uh, this has led to a rapid increase in the number of one parent households when they go there will be of course one parent household uh, there will be a single parent no family law varies from culture to culture a family law to a canon then by what some of some of the culture math but it's a country specific on the answer but in this broad application it defines the legal relationship among family members as well as the relationship between families and societies at, at large when you go to a broad body generally culture of family law by when it is listening key describe what's on nothing a family with a relationship members who relationship and they got this relationship society of family focus to relationship so when they go out to some of the important questions deal with in the family law include the terms and the parameters of marriage and family law might describe the very good thing terms of parameter marriage for the term with a parameter is this don't say no to a convent term and conditions on south of a might be divorced for marriage basically which is the stability of the around so the status of children and about that was the key one if the parents are divorced and the succession of poor property sorry property from one generation to next and then every generation but our co-generation must say property because it transfer on so to grab them are discussed that in turn so in the next paragraph there you could see the general rule in marriages until modern time was the legal transfer of dependency right uh the general rule i did the moral modern time right marriage with the general rule when i go this is the legal transfer of dependency right that of the bride from father to groom right from father to groom when i go jun if that's any legal legal trans dependency thing right uh bride could for particular dependency to father mount so today bride groom as a source of an answer not only did the groom assume guardian guardianship usually assumed control over all of his wife's affairs when you go um yes any guardianship matter in a key right that uh that person that bride bridegroom he accept expects or he assumes the control over all the affairs of his wives often the woman lost any legal identity through marriage or as was the case in english common law there have been exceptions to this practice there are some exceptions you know Muslim women, for instance, had they had considerable control over their one personal proper property. The use of dowries and amount of money or property given to the husband you now with the bride in compensation for her dependency has long been practiced in many countries, but it has tended to disappear in many industrial societies. And you go Muslim women, Muslim women are saying, when I let the dowry, my dear property at the money say. Right, they use the in their on their one. I do say only after we might use current talent of the day country at mother you, uh, dowry system causing uh, to write to plot happening. Is that it? That's getting degrees that that is getting eradicated in general. In general, modern marriages is best described as a voluntary union. You know, I like marriage as you said, described when it is called voluntary union. When I go voluntarily, male and female they discuss and they, they get married, right. Usually between the man and woman. There are still vestiges of the arranged marriage. There are, right? Uh, arranged marriage is also taking place to some extent, but uh, it's not happening all the time there. That once flourished in Eastern Europe and Asia, the emancipation of, of women in the 19th and 20th century changed the marriage dramatically. When you go to you know, freedom, I will be in the 19th to 20th century. Right? This is because the marriage material really changes. Right? You know? Property and economic status have changed like you. The connection with property, women are like property have been shared by economic status when they they started um, belonging or they started posing possessing the economic status or the goods and properties of the family, right? Similarly, change is the concept of economic maintenance, which traditionally fell on the shoulder of husband and like economic burden, right? As for economic home house for economic burden, right? Women are what are familiar with many parties. Um, so because of these things, there was increasing recognition of women's potential to contribute. And women are definitely contributing to the support of the family. At the beginning of the 20th 
21st century, family law and the notion of family itself was further uh, complicated by calls for acceptance, same-sex marriages and non-traditional families also, right? These were uh, the calls for the acceptance, but same-sex marriage, non-traditional families also started existing in the modern time. Day. Next, we have here, dissolution of marriages is one of the areas in which law must try to balance private and public interest. When go, uh, marriage and split, split to himself, while marriage and destroy on the dissolution, right? There is the uh, balance should be, uh, they must try to balance private and public interest and a private or public interest since realistically it is the couple itself that can be best, that can best describe or uh, decide whether it's ma uh, it's marriage is viable right you think i will talk you think so you say i will decide in many uh older systems roman muslim jewish chinese and japanese some form of unilateral divorce was possible unilateral when you go exactly as mainly as a female time any divorce when ever i did it change with i know it's a mutual respect for the divorce and mutual one for me mainly as a female they got to buy a lonely right extreme circumstances in ways uh blatant neglect and i them they term neglect or they are was they never they abuse uh to be our government misbehavior or incapacity can be demonstrated uh they find the resolution in civil court Many systems favor special family courts that tend to deal more fairly with sensitive issues such as custody of children. Like children, like say, uh, parents could divorce by saying, "What's your marriage dissolution?" By saying, "Children could kill each other." But saying, "Family court le is like a sensitive le." So the issue of children poses special problems for family law in nearly every culture. The welfare of children was firmly left to parents entirely. Na parents like saying, "Third day one chat." Children who will fare good issues, and this usually means the father, mostly the father, like the mother, also if the marriage is uh, dissolved or if the marriage gets destroyed. Most societies have come to recognize the general benefit of protecting the children's right and of prescribing certain standards of rearing. There you go. Society already say children could right to like a protect Gurnikularu or to a right to rearing Gurniku standard. Certain standard was a rearing particular they weren't proclaiming or recognizing. Thus, more than in any area, there any other area, family law intervenes in private lives with regard to children. And right? uh, children go saval was a right family life raising, uh, sorry, family law is a private life placing intervene in the interfere in the Compulsory education is an example, and right? like education the potential. In the case of single parent homes, the law is still frequently provides some. Uh, form of support and eh? family single parent or one is a one year let's say support the record legislation on child labor and child abuse also asserts society's responsibility for a child's best interest there you go but june but that's some someone needs to child labor some of child abuse some of someone that can on that is the thing uh but i'll go to a ball valley car to say right interest for like thing uh right society go responsibility on what's the one that are the character the succession there and then after this the succession of uh, family interest often the date of its members can be considered as a part of family learning after the date of the family members I know uh, transfer to other association of family interest right uh, most legal systems have both means of dealing with division of property left by decaged family members when you go death by security family members go to property like then most legal systems have some means of dealing and then putting the pun in the deal with them the wheel or at the test when when I go by that you can when it's a parent stage you will be going to such a number of date but you say well I know let's say you property in some other way a testament take a testimony also was up so right it specifies it it specifies the uh dissidents which is as to such distribution but a surviving spouse or over of spring may contain sorry contest what appear to be unreasonable or inequitable provisions and I'd like to do uh, unreasonable lagging success or inequitable lagging success, right? That there are some of them might be getting or some of them might not be getting. There are also laws that recognize family claims in the event that property is left intestate, right? It means with no will to determine its distribution. So, in this way, here the uh, writer, Alan John Bernard. So, we have discussed uh, the 
types of families, right? The history of the families and how the family changed from patriarchal uh, family to this shared family, right? Or uh, this modern family. We have discussed these things and we have talked about the problems related to the dissolution of family, dissolution of uh, family is a history uh, of after the dissolution, right? What problem might be there? And we have talked about the family law also. So in this way, we can deal with this raising text called family. Okay, all right. Now you have been given the question answers, working with the words, please try to find out uh, some meanings for the words given below or the phrases given below and fill this puzzle only one. Next number B, you have been given uh, some words, family related words and use them. You have to use them with them in your one sentences like nuclear, family, uh, monogamy, sibling, in-law, milk, kinsey, uh, matrimonial, right? Nepotism, maternity. These words, they have been given in the text above. So please find out these words and try to use these words under one so that you can learn language, okay? Hey, listen, English language, signal even help us or new words, because they use the name of the It helps you all out there. Next number C, you have been given uh, some vocabulary tags. The following words are from the text above. Uh, each word has two parts, polygamy, unmarried, non-traditional, dissolution, inequitable. So this is how it's leading you to the word formation, right? When it goes, somebody you could see the prefixes, right? Poly, on, non, these, and in, these are the prefixes. When it go, if we add some morphemes before the words and we change the word or we form new word, that process is what you call uh, prefix, that's what I mean, prefix also. Suffix, after the word we add something, that's what's called suffix, right? They make new words when they are added to the beginning of the uh, root words. So make at least five words using the prefixes given below. Consider dictionary to learn how they change the meaning. And go, uh, morpheme, we call these morphemes, this word is family. So we can form, form many words from the morpheme given here pre that means uh, pre board pre test okay preliminary from the word from the morpheme semi semi formal semi skilled semi final from the word from the morpheme sub we can form subconscious okay we can form subway mis misunderstanding and then we can form mislead misguide from the morpheme mono, monopoly, monogamy, from the word on, we can form unconscious, we can form uncertain, we can form unnecessary, right? And from the morpheme in, we can form inactive, right? We can form inconsistent or inconsistency, right? Inability, there are many things, inter. Uh, interrelationship right uh, intersection the, there are many other words we can which we can form please consult dictionary for other words that start with these kind of morphemes next we have been we have been given the headings headings of the uh, themes okay or the themes of the paragraphs given there the headings of the first five paragraphs of the Above text are given below, right? Paragraph number next to them. Maneko mathi paragraph pari se kwasi. The paragraph ko topic sentence atwa the paragraph ko main idea chahi. We have been given here. Just to patriarchal society maneko kun paragraph ma It's in the third paragraph. Functions of the family is given in the given in the second paragraph. Modern uh, model of the family. This is given in the fifth paragraph. Effects of industrialization on family structure. That's given in the fourth paragraph. D defining family is given in the first paragraph. Eh? Using Mathi paragraph, you can find out the main themes there. So, you have been given in, in 10 questions. Um, after reading the text, you can do these things. All right. So, uh, I'll show you the answer of these questions in the slide there. Everyone. Now, let me show you the slides. Okay, you see what type of family is thought to be the oldest form of the family. Nuclear family is thought to be the oldest form of the family, as it is given in the text there. 
How does a family provide security to its member? A family provides for emotional and psychological security, particularly through the warmth, love and companionship that living together generates between spouses and in turn between them and their children. Right? Uh, number C, what were the features of medieval European family? The features of medieval European family were male dominated and extended. What causes what caused the dissolution of extended families in the West? Many people, particularly unmarried youths, left arms and they went to urban centers to become industrial workers. This caused the dissolution of extended families in the West. What change occurred in general rule in the modern families that emerged after the industrial revolution? You could see after the industrial revolution, family roles once considered exclusively male or female. They broke down, right, caring for the home and children. Once the exclusive, it was the duty of the female. Now it is a shared activity, right, and in the way of earning also, earning of the wages also. This is the pursuit of public life and the exclusive domain of the male, right. So in this way, there are some changes brought between uh, male and female or after the industrial revolution, the family, the modern family uh, has been created or the family structure has been changed the structure of family life it has been changed there uh, what is family law family law varies from culture to culture but in its broadest application it defines the legal relationship among family members as well as the relationship between families and society as large how is modern marriage defined modern marriage is defined as a voluntary union usually between a man and a woman. Number yes. What do special family courts try to do? Special family courts try to deal with, deal more fairly with sensitive issues such as the custody of children. After the dissolution of family, they deal with these things. Number I. What does the legislation on child labor and child abuse declare? Legislation on child labor and child abuse declares society's responsibility for a child's best interest. Number J, what is common among most legal regarding legal systems regarding property? Some means of dealing with division of property left by a decaged family member is common among most legal systems regarding property. Now, critical thinking. Under critical thinking, you, you have been given two questions. Uh, here, the answer of these two questions will be really long. So, rather than writing the answers, I'm just telling you how it should be done. What changes have occurred to, what changes have started to occur in Nepal, the families in recent days? What impacts will they bring on the society discussed? Means, the changes, how the structure of family is getting changed in the context of Nepal also, as it is described in the text, the extended families, they are getting changed into nuclear families, and the role of the uh, spouse is also, it's getting changed, right? It's uh, becoming the shared activity, right? Uh, rather than the um, patriarchal or the male-dominated society, right? So these things you can talk about, and what are the factors of uh, so change we know that education employment opportunities right the migration also from uh, the urban areas rural areas to urban areas because of these things and next question you have been given so uh, we see many elderly people in the elderly home these days in nepal some of them are abandoned means they are left by the family members while others live there willingly do you think nepali people are deviating from the traditional culture give reason of course you could see many uh, the oldest people elderly people they are abandoned means they are left by their uh, office springs or they are left by their son or daughter or their family uh, might be there are many reasons associated but this is not any good and this is against our traditional culture or this is against our norms and values of the family family life so these things uh, are really deviating uh, or they, they are the, de the form of deviation of the traditional culture. So in that way, we can answer these questions. You can put your arguments uh, for these questions. 
on writing you have been given the essay writing task so here you have been given uh, a topic to write an essay on the importance of family so here i'll show you something in the slides about the basic things under essay writing and i'll tell you how you should write this essay of course the, let me show you this before we go through the tasks given there on, in the writing section uh, let us know something about essay writing uh, we need to know something before we go on writing essay uh, what are the parts of an essay and in how many parts you should write it out the parts are introduction body and conclusion there are three parts of an essay and what are the components then what are the components it means a, a part ha can have many other sub parts or the components the components are hook word or sentence thesis statement general statements then on the body paragraph also there are some components means there are the topic sentences supporting details right and the con under conclusions also there are we can see concluding marker uh, the restatement of the thesis or the topic sentences so these are the components of an essay so as we are going to write an essay you could argue by the way can it you could argue mention got it also when it's it's really important because essay writing is not only about jumbling the sentences or gathering the sentences right so it should be very technically structured and the layout should be also proper right so here we are going to discuss what are the hook sentences what is thesis statement what are general statements and what is topic sentences these things very crucial things uh, hook sentence thesis statement general statement ra, topic sentences these are the really important things as well as this concluding marker and restatement of this thesis statement right these things are important for us okay so uh, the components of introduction hook word sentence general statement his statement or central idea these are the components of introduction within an introduction of your essay you think that could have a person right so let's see what is the hook sentence then the hook sentence in a short introduction is usually meant to be the hook that will arouse interest as many readers as possible to continue reading when I go hook sentence like that first sentence is to impressing catchy sentence on but just like that's a reader or like further the whole essay part of like interest arouse girls right so catchy and interesting words or sentence to draw the attention of a reader you know uh, reader ko attention like a draw on a technical sentence family start going over so lucky we should start with uh, definition we, we should not start with the uh, definition rather we can start with some quotation some uh, fragile verb some idioms or the facts like that right in a very rhetorical way a uh, convincing way for example hook you can see a role of tourism uh, for the economic development of nepal this is a topic what hook we can write uh, tourism is as worth as a milking cow for the economic development of nepal so this can be a hook sentence for this topic next topic causes and effects of social problems and innocent gets born in the pretext of which and a daughter is offered in the temple right or to the temples and monasteries in our societies these things they indirectly talk about the top topic there right or they are associated with the topic so in this way we can relate our essay or we can give a good start up for our essay okay next thesis statement this is the central idea of our essay all right uh, so what main idea we are going to write in our essay right because uh, a topic can have many main ideas no there is area on the source of topic go but the topic lamely narrow down got up my you idea or mother lecture but no like to we have to write a thesis statement and on the basis of that you need to develop a develop body paragraphs this go other much family body paragraph develop got no one answer right the thesis statement is the main idea of an essay which helps and directs a writer to develop body paragraphs and link them together if you can develop suitable thesis statement you'll definitely be able to decide what ideas should be included and excluded in your body paragraphs our thesis helps the reader understand immediately what the topic or what the basic concept of an essay will be in you know? a basic concept is given to the essay go when you could actually find out going to help us a writer level also the bad of any but kill if anybody better get money for our coaching confusion or they know if you go on writing a good thesis for your essay for example um so you if you are given uh, a topic tourism in nepal possible thesis statement or given such on the pros and cons of tourism importance economic development context case i go future of tourism in nepal tourism tourist destination in nepal there are many areas so can you write essay on all areas in single essay 
right can you write these things in your single essay no of course not and now you area mate kunchi area you want to pick up there in your thesis statement right so or in your essay apno description badi paraga pa chai kun kura har lekhte huncha that's what article thesis statement ab hamile six odi point chai essay ma mix garyo bhan chai it will it won't be a good essay right so that you should choose only one uh, thesis statement for your essay for example importance of technology in education now his statement is new technology has become an integral part of education since it, pro it provides teachers and students with plenty of opportunities with access to teaching learning materials and interaction so it's relating to uh, teachers and students right or it's telling how teachers and students they can make use of new technology in education ra mero body paragraph ma thoroughly i'll be talking about how teachers are hel using help and how the students are uh, taking help from the help of new technology for their education or for their profession next is we call uh or could a general statement now so there's a body introduction my parts of thing that might be a general definition of the topic right next we have topic sentences we come on the body paragraph body paragraph my second way she or could have done nobody manic topic sentence that's the main idea of a body paragraph right um, that should be directly related to the thesis statement thesis statement go other much i'm late my topic sentence develop on the panel right and you go if we are writing about the importance of tourism body paragraph and key importance of the company about importance and like sort of the same thing we describe in the body paragraph there a topic in the beginning of a, it, it might be in the beginning or the second sentence when you know a new paragraph helps the reader see in which direction the author intends to move in that paragraph to paragraph my key main idea you know kujira's author le money go to find out gonna second so you can see my dear agi key topic to your new technology in education right teacher is trying to consider help in a suction money for our video yeah topics and it's one my teacher click on the help in a new technology right material color you're gonna go like you find out teaching techniques is to only say second my topic sentence stones are not exception they can have their problem solved right at home right they can collect materials interact with teachers and then topic sentence three teacher can help take teachers they can take help from new technology for creating technology made it classroom in order to motivate students in learning right it's a jammy but it's still like a flow my lana socks on it's a good introduction the key body or conclusion some of the every pattern was on a bunny on south of a main idea so overall idea they every idea flow by the greater going about so that way we used to write an essay so our topic sentence line the key also supporting details let's support cards so when it was a main a paragraph where the main sentence answer right that is based on this statement this like i mean supporting details they support got some supporting details are examples facts data as right these things are the supporting details supporting detail by only i'm really only word even you know so i'm really select that you're going you have to use the linkers transitional words like in the same way likewise besides furthermore as a result owing to due to because of right these things you have to use then how do you write a conclusion conclusion the question like neither i i have seen some students right what to write in conclusion they ask the question right so you this is called mini essay whatever you have written in the essay mathi essay man jay lekhnu bhaeko sa te kura la chai ekdam sum up garni chai that's what you call conclusion it doesn't include new idea new idea ke pani include gar dena or only the sum up or summing up of your essay so first was a minute keep it should go to the one person the concluding marker when you go does therefore hands in a not shall equal are about a thing you have to start your essay next is restate the thesis statement this is my skill in about you this like this restate go no but it's a bunny go don't copy the same sentence only copy the theme and write the different uh sentence or different words for these things might be uh you can write the passive form you can write endonym synonym right next is restate the topic sentence i'm three or three tinta topic sentences like so i mean like the echo essay machine right at least five paragraph essay like in such this one three paragraph body paragraph by your one introduction next the conclusion of the almost five paragraph essay like in such a mother is a or a thesis the tinta thing topic sentence with a chart or a sentence almost by your last time is a bro कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क के साथ तो जो चाहिए टॉपिक के बारे में हम इक्की बनना चाहते हैं लास्ट में ऑलमोस्ट फोर फाइव पैराग्राफ सेंटेंस में आते हैं वी कैन इन आवर कंक्लूजन राइट नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू द टेक्स्ट बुक सॉल्यूशंस हियर यहाँ बनने को सर राइट यू हैव टू राइट एन एसी ऑन द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फैमिली 
how you think families will change in the future अब मैं थेसिस एवरा डिवलप गरे को जो यह थेसिस ला लिए रहा तब यहले इसे डिवलप गरना सकना हूँ चाहते हैं दो वी कांट प्रेडिक्ट चेंजेज अफ फेमलीज इन फ्यूचर इट इज इंपोर्टेंट फर एन इंडिविजुअल टू गेट सेल्फलेस लव एंड कंपेनियन इन एवरी स्टेज अफ लाइफ एंड फर सोसाइटी इट्स सिग्निफिकेन्ट फर म्यूचुअल वेलबिंग मैं माथि को तीनटे कुछ कवर कर सकोस् थेसिस बनाक छू बिकज वी हेव टू इंक्लूड दोज थी थ्री थिंग्स इन आवर एस टपिक सेंटेन्स वन टपिक सेंटेन्स टू टपिक सेंटेन्स थ्री को यह टपिक सेंटेन्स प्रत्येक टपिक सेंटेन्स पर हम एवं एवटा प्याराग्राफ डेवलप कर सौ विद द सपोर्टिंग डिटेल्स हाई नंबर ए टपिक सेंटेन्स ए अ गुड फैमिली हेल्प एंड इंडिविजुअल टू गेट सेल्फलेस लव एंड कंपेनियन इन एवरी स्टेज अफ लाइफ दैट माइट बी अप्स एंड डाउन्स में राइट सेल्फलेस लव एंड कंपेनियन सीप को Topic sentence two: Society is composed of many families, so they can help each other uh, of their well-being in the society. Topic sentence three: When I go say, it's not predictable. The pattern of family, it's not. <coughs> sorry, it's not predictable. It can be changed in different way. Earlier, I am le predict what I go on the different way. But when you say, jam is also in that way. Wow, it's like saying, the way our first thesis include why the. इंट्रोडक्टरी पाराग्राफ भो टपिक सेंटेन्स वन टू थ्री बा तीनटा पाराग्राफ चार वा पाराग्राफ भो एट लास्ट यू हेव टू राइट अ कंक्लूजन अल्सो राइट सो नेक्स्ट यू हेव इन गिव नंबर बी सम पीपल थिंक दैट इट इज बेटर टू लिव इन अ न्यूक्लियर फैमिली अदर पीपल थिंक दैट लिविंग इन एक्सटेड फैमिली इज मोर एडवांटेजेस वट यू थिंक राइट एंड एस डिस्कसिंग द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस अफ बोथ सो हियर यू हेव इन गिव इन द टपिक राइट और यू कैन राइट इट एज अ थेसिज अल्सो एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ लिविंग इन अ न्यूक्लियर फैमिली एंड लिविंग इन एन एक्सटेडेड फैमिली सो यू हेव टू डेवलप थे स्टेटमेंट टपिक सेंटेन्सिज हमें अभी जो एस राइटिंग को गये तो इन्क्लूड करें यू हेव टू राइट एन एस सो इन दिस वे दिस अल अबाउट द राइटिंग टास्क नाउ द ग्रामर पार्ट अफ यूनिट टू The grammar lesson we have got there, or we have been given there, is modal verbs. So, what is meant by modal verb first? A modal verb is a type of uh, auxiliary or that is helping verb that's used to express ability, possibility, permission, or obligation, right? Like can, could, may, might. These are what are called modal verbs that are used to describe ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. Modal verbs or they are semi-modals also. Phrases are used to express the same thing as modal verbs, but that in a combination of auxiliary verb and the preposition to. For example, can, could, must, have to, should, would, will, shall, shan't, want, would not, should not, should, don't have to, must, must not, right, can't. These are what you call modal verbs. And different modal verbs are used to uh, express ability, permission, request, advice, possibility, deduction, obligation, lack of obligation, prohibitions. For example, can, could, be able to, they, they uh, are used to express or they are used to show ability. Can, could, will, may, as shown in the example, they are used for permission or request. For example, could I use the computer please, right, it's for permission. Uh, advice, advice in a collective should or to use answer. For example, you look tired. You should have a holiday, right? It's what you call advice. Possibility or deduction in a collective. It might rain, right? Uh, the phone is ringing. Uh, it must be my friend calling me, right? In that way, we can see obligation. When you must or have to be used collectively, we can see the that we can express or we can show the obligatory situation or obligation we can show. Lack of obligation means don't have to, did not, right? The prohibition must not, can't. These things are used for prohibition or restrictions. So you can see other examples about the functions or the usage of the modal verbs. Can be able to, can't, could, may, might, must, have to, need to, need not, must not, don't have to, should, ought to, right? So you can see uh, the functions as well. What to keep in mind while using modal verbs? Explanation and sample sentences you have been given. Yeah, you do not use modal for things which happen definitely. For example, the sun rises in the east. You should not say a modal verb. Uh, it can't be used in this sentence. We can't say the sun can rise in the east. We don't say or the sun will rise in the east. We don't say. 
okay uh, they have no yes in the third person singular it means we don't write third person singular or verb five form with modal verb for example he can play football we don't say he can play football right questions are formed without do does or did for example can he speak spanish right so we don't use do form of verb because it's an auxiliary verb and uh, it's our modal verb right that 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 comes there in the beginning next is it follows a main verb or it's infinitive for example they must read after the modal verb there will be the main verb there they have no past forms in that way we can talk about this long and contracted form of the modal verbs can can cannot or can't could not could couldn't right ought not to need not sun shall not sant should not will not want right in this way you have been given now let's see the textbook solution page number 14 choose the best answer to complete the uh, sentences you have been given some sentences or multiple choice question how much was your parking ticket 50 rupees oh well it did not been worse it, it must have been worse right uh, uh, it did not got lost in the post these things happen sometimes the uh, it might have got lost in the post right sorry i'm late i got delayed at work you could have called i was really worried about you right number d i don't think he meant to be rude he did not say sorry he would have said sorry right uh, next number e whose signature is this i don't know it did not be mono's it must be mono's that looks a bit like an m so that is certainty somehow right uh, number f also you haven't given the answer number g also uh, number f answer must not have i i had it when i left the office so i must not have lost right and number g you might think it's funny but i think it's pathetic right so please see the answer once again okay next you have to complete the following sentences with appropriate endings or with the correct model of using there now example you have been given now i have written the answer uh, for a and b in the same way you can do for others also at the end of the course the dot you must attend the exam right we can write anything that's suitable and we have to use the model verb also if you want to earn a lot of money you should work hard right you were not in your house yesterday right you must have been somewhere or you must have been uh, to your friend's house i'm quite busy tomorrow then what can you say i won't meet you when you were a small kid you might have uh, destroyed some goods at your home right in this way you can add um, the sentences right with the correct model verbs also so this is all about the reading comprehension writing grammar part we have dealt with here so everyone how did you like the video if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell also and uh, please write your comment in the comment section below so that it will really help us in creating some better contents in the days to come so thank you so much for watching the video till now we'll meet in the next videos